You're gonna need to be warm for this one. It's a quick start. It's stage two, season four, or is it just season one, 21, 22? I'm not sure, but nonetheless, we're in Watopia, and it's the figure eight reverse. So let's get into the details, and more importantly, where your team and your riders are gonna maximize those points. Whoa, sorry guys, I was that excited to get on with the recon. I forgot to tell you the format of the video. So it's post-production, so I'm here just to give you a bit of an update. Of course, we're gonna recon the course and the primes. Also at the end of the video I'm going to give you the times whether you're A, B, C or D. Those are the expected times for this stage. And don't forget you can always find the course notes which I've left in the description below. So enjoy the video. Right, roll tape. All right, before we get into the course in a bit more detail, I just wanted to give a bit of insight on how the recon rides are gonna work this season. A lot of the recons are gonna be in this format, the same format we've had before, less than 10 minutes, all the important details on the course, the power-ups, bike choice, that kind of thing. But we are gonna be doing two or three live shows throughout the season. We've already done show one, that was all about the team time trial. We're also gonna do a live show with Eric from Zwift Insider at some point, and also Adams Dawson, from Zwifterholics. But let's get on with looking at this course in a bit more detail. 29.7 kilometers long with only 254 meters of elevation. But there's two sprint sections, one of which comes very, very early within the first three kilometers, and two com sections, all of which have points available. And it's this first half of the race where we've got the sprint reverse and the Zwift com reverse that are gonna make or break the race for a lot of riders. All right, so let's get out on course and have a look at a bit more detail. So we come out the start pens, go underneath the start finish banner here. And this first two and a half kilometers is rather rolling, but it's going to be quick as all Zwift races are. But also I'm putting some money on here that someone is gonna take or try and take a flyer and push the pace, ready for this very early sprint that we need to start thinking about already at the two and a half kilometer stage. So let's have a look at this sprint in a bit more detail. The sprint itself, the Watopia Sprint Reverse, is only 200 meters long, but you need to be thinking about this sprint really early. The sprint itself is gonna start around about the 2.7 kilometer mark, but you really need to be in position, whether you're going for first across the line or the fastest through segment, with 300 meters before that, so about kilometer 2.4 to 2.5, because you've got a descent, as we can see here, into the sprint, so the pace is really going to be up. The sprint itself starts at the start of the bridge and finishes around about 50 meters after the bridge on this road section. So again, the speed, the pace will absolutely be high. Now, if you want to be in contention for the calm, again, and just being in that front group after the sprint, make sure you're towards the front before we start to head towards the villas and before we start to head towards the Zwift calm reverse. Right, so immediately after that sprint, it's quite a critical point again. As we go towards the village, you've basically got two kilometers now to recover, if you can call it that, between the end of the sprint and the start of the com. Now this com is two and a half kilometers long, but it is only the first 900 meters to a kilometer, as we can see here, where you really need to be pushing on if you want to try and break some of those other riders or some of those other sprinters. And I guarantee this is what people are gonna be doing. After that first thousand meters, it, the gradient starts to reduce. It gets easier, down to about two, three, even zero percent at some point. So it's really, really draftable. So it's this first section, 900 meters, stand up, push on, dig deep, get yourself around this right-hand corner here, and then again, you can draft all the way up. So again, it's 2.5 kilometers, an average gradient of 6%, so it's not all that steep, it's just this first section. The finish the finish of the climb is going to come at kilometre 7.6 and you do see the finish pretty early. Again, it's more of a sprint finish than anything else because the gradient isn't too steep. But again, first across the line, fastest through segments, push on, dig deep, get those points. All right, so you made it through the first sprint, you made it over the first calm. You can chill out, relax, max with your friends on the roads of Watopia for the next eight kilometres. Well, 
not quite it's rolling roads but it's not too bad i'm sure someone will want to try and push the pace at this point but not me i'm going to be sitting in and saving the bacon ready for this next sprint which is going to come at kilometer 15.5 this sprint is the sprint forward this time just after the villas here it's 400 meters long it's going to be fast it's going to be hard because you're going to have to dig deep because it is a little bit longer than some of the other sprints but again if you want those fastest through or first through segment points push on dig deep max out all right, so once we finish that final sprint, we're heading back down to downtown, and you've got about four kilometers now again of recovery and rolling roads before we get to that final comp of the day. 900 meters, 5% average gradient. It's gonna come at kilometer 19.5 just by this bridge here. It's steeper, it's not as long, but you will need to dig deep and fight that lactic acid burn here if you wanna maximize those points, either for the fastest through and the first across the line points available here so as you can see it's steeper but it is shorter so really fighting for the points on this climb the great thing about this climb is you do get to see that finishing banner very early on. That's the case with all of the comp sections on this particular course. Whether you're using the map in the right hand side or on the large screen itself, you will see the flags coming really, really early. So you've cracked it, you've maximized those points. You've maximized those points on the sprint and the climb. Let's head down to downtown and maximize those finish line points now. Well, you've worked hard on that climb, so guess what? You've got two and a half kilometers of steady descent now back down towards the village, and most importantly, back down towards the finish line. So I'm gonna fast through some of this because again, I'm assuming if you're on your little selective bunch at the front and your peloton of choice, then that's where you're gonna stay until we start thinking about these finish line points as we head back into downtown. So remember the race itself is 29.7 kilometers long. Again, the Sprint here can be quite drawn out. You've got to think about the section as you come out of Ocean Boulevard. Take that left-hand turn as you start to head back into the downtown. Again, you do see the sprint early, but I think at this right-hand bend here is when you need to start thinking about fantastic positioning, putting the power down, and crossing that line first. All right, so as always, there are three power-ups that we have for this event. We've got the Aero, which is gonna be absolutely fantastic on those sprint sections. We've got the Burrito, the beloved or the dreaded Burrito, which is basically gonna make everyone around you, including yourself, undraftable for 15 seconds. I think this has got some great application, particularly on that first comp. If you do that first section, make it really, really difficult for the riders, get around that right hand turn where it starts to shallow, shallow off, hit the burrito and again you keep applying the pressure and make sure no one can draft you for that first 15 seconds on that rolling section at the top of that first comp, just an idea there. And then finally we have the feather. So again if you're struggling to hold on again or you want to push the pace you can use that feather on either of these comms to maximum effect and wave goodbye to your competition. So in terms of bike choice for this particular one, take a look at Eric's pages over at Zwift Insider. My advice, just go for the most efficient and aero bike you can. There is some argument maybe that you'd go for something a little bit more climbing ability, but the climbs aren't too long here. But maybe that's your particular weakness and you want a little bit of extra support on your climbs, then maybe think about something like that. But if I got the Tron, I would go for the Tron. I have got the Tron now, so this season I can ride the Tron. But then also you've got something like the Canyon Air Roads, you've got the Cervelo, or you've got the new Scott bike, which is absolutely fantastic. Again, check out the Zwift Insider pages. I think you need to be level 32 for the new Scott bike I'm on level 31 I'm getting there but that will be my bike of choice when it's available as always guys I really appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos if you enjoy the content if you wouldn't mind just take some time nip down to the bottom give us a subscribe give the video a thumbs up it really does help the channel out a ton now in terms of recon rides there's a few available with racing without borders or team electric spirit I know team electric spirit are doing the rides on a Saturday and some 
some cases, the shortened versions of the course, so single laps rather than multiple laps, which I think is great if you're doing this two or three days before the race on a Tuesday night. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Give it a like, give it a subscribe, and I shall see you on the roads on Tuesday night. I am racing the Emea West B1 this time, and as always, I'll be streaming on live on a Tuesday night. So anyone in that division, if you wanna watch me get beat up and drop by you potentially, then give it a watch. We'll see you guys soon.